Hey, I'm Alexa, and I'm going to give a brief overview of my artwork before we get into color reality. So as you can see, I paint physically on people. And I do it in a way that makes them look like two-dimensional paintings. So from any angle possible, it can look two-dimensional. It doesn't matter how much depth is in the scene. Um, the illusion holds up. So I didn't go to art school. I didn't study painting. I studied political science. And while I was finishing my degree, I had this idea. I wanted to know what it would look like if I put black paint down over shadows. And then I thought, what if in addition to painting shadows black, I painted colors and highlights and everything directly in three-dimensional space on the objects themselves. And I realized when I did that, I was able to turn the world into a two-dimensional painting. So I've been experimenting, pushing it in different directions. At that point, I decided I would become a professional artist, give up my aspirations with politics. Um, <laughs> and. It's been like amazing working in all of these different styles. I'm just starting to work in film. Before this short film, Color of Reality, everything, oh, that was a real proposal, by the way. She had no idea it was coming. But everything had been just like a little proof of concept video, trying to figure out how I can play with the depth and what I could do. So I was really grateful for this opportunity with Color of Reality to make an actual narrative short film. Yeah, and now it's time to talk about the film. So John Bugs, movement artist, he approached me. He's incredibly talented. I'm a huge fan of his work. And he wanted to make a piece of art that combined my painting with his movement artistry. We were going through my Instagram, and he saw um, this picture called Writer's Block of a man with newspapers. And then he saw this one of a man watching TV. And we were talking about how we could combine such strong visual imagery. And then he came up with this idea of what if you have people reacting to the headlines on TV today. And from there, this whole story unfolded. He did a beautiful job writing and directing it. The thing is that this was my first time making a short film like with an actual narrative storyline. And I knew I had to make the execution strong. So I brought in Kaylee Atchison to produce and Charles Latham to edit. And Kay this is Kaylee, by the way. <laughs> She's going to yeah. speak in a moment. <laughs> or we can speak I'll together. Anyways, uh, this was the first time I painted Kaylee. This was before the film. And uh, I just painted her essentially as this girl who doesn't take shit from anyone, because that's who I see her as. And as I was painting her, I was telling her about this story that John Bugs had come up with. And she had so many amazing ideas for production. So I'm going to let her to speak to that. Hi. John Bugs can't be here tonight, so I am. Uh, he sends his love, though. Um, yeah, I was really, really inspired by the concept that Alexa was uh, pitching to me and, and kind of going over. And then I looked up John Boogs and I saw his movement art, and I was going to just move that down two seconds. Um, so, yeah, I saw John Boogs, and I was like, he is amazing, his movement art, and obviously Alexa's talent is uh, just amazing. So I jumped in and I assembled a crew um, with our amazing DP, Kyle Strikers, out here in the audience. and. Uh, uh, collaborated with Standard Vision, who helped us, and I'll tell you about that later. Um, but basically, I um, am going to read from this because I'm a little nervous. Um, uh, we wanted to, we were kind of all over the country while we were prepping. Uh, we had great Liz Alinsky back at home, like home base, helping us because John was in Vegas and Buck was in Cuba and Alexa I was here. I should mention uh, John was in Vegas because he choreographed for Cirque du Soleil. Just, and Buck just was like note. dancing for Madonna in Cuba or something. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it was, it was really insane. Hard to um, and so I had to coordinate everything, you know, across the country. And um, I thought that it was really, really important to be communicative through the pre-production and production and the edit with John um, because I wanted to make sure that his voice was being represented well. We spoke a lot about his motivation and experiences and growing up in Florida as a young black man, it was imperative for me to hear about his life so that I could best represent him and, um, and also to how to marry Alexa's style with John's experiences so that we could tell a really impactful story. Um, it, it, it was an amazing experience. We spent hours and hours on the phone and uh, we all became fast friends. Actually, the first time we all met was the very first day of shooting. So um, it was actually magic, the way that everyone kind of just jumped in on uh, to help each other create this project. Um, I should say that our launch was kind of uh, exceptional. 
we were able to to partner with Standard Vision, who uh, provided this amazing art installation downtown at the uh, Marriott Courtyard. <laughs> Courtyard Marriott. Their expressions were like probably the best thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> they were like so so excited. It was just an amazing experience. So this whole thing was an incredible team experience and so beautiful bringing together the visual art with the painting with the movement artistry of John Bugs and Lil Buck and the narrative storytelling. So I want to thank the whole team. Thank you. Thank you.